Australia is once again a world leader, but in this case it's not something to crow about. The latest global snapshot of carbon emissions reveals that Australia still leads the pack with the highest per capita pollution among developed nations. And overall emissions are continuing to rise. That's got scientists saying we're heading towards a worst case scenario. Here's environment reporter Sarah Clark. As the global economic meltdown set in, many had hoped it would translate to much cleaner air as economies ground to a halt. But the latest audit of the planet's emissions shows carbon dioxide from human activities continues to rise. Emissions have increased by about 2% during 2008. That's a little bit less than through the previous seven or eight years when they been increasing at over 3%. But that's still too much according to these scientists. And the annual audit, known as the Global Carbon Project, has found that any lull in CO2 levels may be short-lived. By 2011, emissions will have recovered to something like 3% per year, uh, roughly what they were before the financial crisis began. The continuing rise in carbon dioxide is because of an increasing use of coal to produce electricity in developing countries. China and India have almost doubled their emissions since 1990. But Australia didn't come out clean either. In 2008, emissions here were just under 2%. And on a per capita scale, that places Australia ahead of other developed nations, including the United States. The world's leading scientific panel warns the planet is now tracking close to the worst case scenario. We're looking toward, say, at the end of this century, being at a global average warming of, of up to 7 degrees Celsius if this goes on for many more decades. And, and that level of climate change is, in some sense, unthinkable. But according to this report, one that may be inevitable, unless the planet's emissions are curbed. Sarah Clark, ABC News.